Hey guys, this is Wes Burke from MaxCookie.com and today I want to show you a quick tip on how to cut holes through meshes. You know, sometimes you have to cut hole through uh, like a flashlight or pieces on a car, things like that, where you need to cut a perfect circle inside of a plane. And so I have two examples set up here and we'll kind of run through them and see how this uh, technique works. So if I go just go in the top view, I'm going to go to spline, I'm going to create a circle. And we'll make our circle about that big. So this is what we're going to be cutting through the plane. Go here and make our interpolation. Bring that down a bit. So what we got is a low poly uh, sphere or circle being cut through here. So in the top view, once I cut this out and we put a turbo on this, it's going to be uh, pretty smooth. So what I'll do is I'll select the plane. It's converted to an edible poly. And I'm going to want to cut. But what I want to want to do is turn on snap. Most, more specifically, I want to make sure it's going to snap to vertex. So I have the plane selected. I have snap on. I have my spline overlaying where I want to cut the hole. And now we'll come through here and cut the hole. And then I want to clean this up. There we go. Cool. And that is it. So if we now look, we'll have a perfectly cut hole on our mesh. So you can go ahead and get rid of this. And just to kind of show you an effect, I'll add a turbo to it. And I usually go to two, and I turn on ice line display. And we can see we got one issue right here, but it looks like just a vert that needs to be welded in there. Yep, sure enough. I'm going to hit S to turn off snap. Target weld these guys over. I'm targeting to weld them to this point because that is accurate to the perfect circle. Not to be confused with the band. All right, cool. So now we have our turbo smooth, again, perfect circle. And what you can do now is if you do like your loops, you can still add in. So we'll turn this on. Oops, I let you see what I'm doing. Hold down shift and you can still add your edge loops if you need a hard edge or you can bring it in. Same thing here, you can add your three edges. And then I usually like just to collapse it in. So now we should have a perfect circle. So easy enough on a flat plane, though it can get complicated if you're working with uh, edges or you know pipes or spheres or anything like that. Well, the good thing is this technique works on those as well. So we'll take this spline and just bring it over. And you can get pretty technical with it. Make sure it's zeroed out so all your verts will, will line up. We won't have the issue that I ran into later. But for this demonstration, we'll leave it at that. Again, we have a circle there. If I go into my top view, I'm going to go into cut. Again, I have the plane selected. I'm in cut. I'm going to turn on snapping by hitting S. And you can always right click on this icon and make sure that you have vertex selected. And then we'll do the same thing that we did before. Cut in and then work to clean up. Just make sure this is nice. And I still have snap on, so that's helping me. Uh, at least find these birds pretty quick. Cool. So now you're like, whoa, that's not a circle. That doesn't look like it at all. What would? <clears throat> so that's kind of like the challenge when you're working with these, when there's multiple uh, plane angles here, where you know it, it almost be pretty hard and impossible to cut this as a, a normal circle without this kind of a guide. So delete that, and then we'll select this here, and then you should be on your way. We'll go ahead and grab this edge here. And again, you can do your, your edges once, twice, bring it down, and you can do your three edges there. But you can see if I add a turbo smooth to it, we got a perfect circle. And you like, could be saying it doesn't look like a perfect circle, but top down it is. And it's a perfect circle that is into a curved shape. And just to kind of double check that I'm not lying, we can fit a, a cylinder in here, and it'll fit perfectly. So I hope that helps cut holes through surfaces and thanks for watching.